Hey, thanks for checking out my latest video. This is part two of my series, Guitar Style Licks for Keyboards. This video is gonna take a look at half-step bends. Everyone has heard the whole-step bends. They're very common, typically pretty easy because most keyboards have that setting. They have that default to a whole-step bend. So today's video explores why you might wanna use a half-step bend, how to do it, where to do it. And we're gonna be doing this in the key of D minor. And D minor is going to have two half step bends that are in the scale. But the excitement is when we get into all of the other places where you could put in a half step bend that are not part of the scale. So please be sure to watch the whole video. It gets into this and I think you're gonna find it quite interesting. It can add a lot of character to your playing. So stay tuned, we're gonna get right into it. Thanks. Okay, we are in the key of D minor for this tutorial. Those notes are. Within this scale, we have two places where there are half step. And then here's another half step. It's only those two places. Everything else goes up or down in whole steps. So we're going to first take a good look at those half step areas for bending. Our bender right now has a whole step default. All right, so I'm going from D to E. And then as I get to this very next step, I'm going half step E to F. Now I've got to use this bender with a little more precision, a little more care, because I'm only gonna bend it up to the e, to the F, just a half a step. And like you heard in the intro demo piece, that little melody is. It's accentuating that half step there between the second and the third step of the scale and those little neighbors right there happen to only have a half step between them. The other one that is in the scale is from the five, A in this case, going up to the B flat. Everything else again, whole step. But the trick here is to recognize a couple of other opportunities to do half step bends that are not in the scale. And the first one is from the tonic to its half step up. And then the other one that's a real goodie is right here, G to the A flat. And that's gonna be from the four to the tritone. And any time you're engaging the tritone, you're going to really get a gritty blues feel. Let's take a listen to how these half-step bends work against the demo track that you heard in the intro. All right, so in that little demo, I tried to hit on as many of the bends as possible, uh, the half-step ones. And you'll notice that's a real goodie. In this minor scale, that's a great one, the two to the three. And then I also engage that tritone with. And you can do an alternating to the, and then you can also go up to the five. So keep that in mind. You're not stuck in just one 
uh, bend configuration, you can swap them out like that. Okay, let's check out this half step bend that goes from the minor third to the major third. We're going to use a different backing track that might accept this bend a little better, a little more of a, uh, a bluesy feel perhaps. Here you go. If you're using this minor third from F to the G flat and you're just throwing it in as a spice and you're not really focusing on it, you're not pronouncing it too much, then it's more of a handy, you're not exposing that third so much as you're hinting at it. You can use it with an alternating full step bend and a half step bend. There's the whole step bend, and then here's the half step bend. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end. I do hope this video was helpful, that you learned some new things that you can use in your own playing. If you have questions about how to do this, Please leave those in the comments below. I'd be happy to give some new ideas that might help. Please consider subscribing and hit the like button and set the bell so you'll get new videos when they come out. Stay tuned for more. Lots to come. Thanks.